uh, it's an honor to be introduced by uh, a, a leader for our time, uh, the incredible Veronica Escobar, the great uh, state of Texas. Uh, I, I also want to acknowledge that we were joined earlier by one of my co-chairs of the LGBTQ Equality Caucus, David Cicilline. I'm also a co-chair. We know that human rights are human rights. Uh, and we have the Tri Caucus here uh, and members of other caucuses who likewise understand that uh, we must do right by everybody and we must live up to our highest ideals as a nation of immigrants. Uh, as you heard from so many of my colleagues today, the situation unfolding at the southern border is indeed a humanitarian crisis. The unfathomable cruelty that Border Patrol officers are inflicting on people attempting simply to exercise their legal right to asylum, the vast majority of whom are black and brown, is horrifying and flies in the face of our values as Americans. But the fact is this crisis is indicative of the cruelty of our deeply broken and unjust immigration and refugee systems, systems that rip families apart terrorize immigrant communities and deport folks who have called our nation home for decades to countries that they have never known, including my constituent, Paul Peerless, of the village of Spring Valley. After four years of xenophobic rhetoric and policy from the prior administration, the American people elected Joe Biden to restore humanity, dignity, and respect for international human rights law to our immigration system. So far, his, his, system, his presidency has failed to accomplish that. And individuals fleeing war, civil unrest, and natural disaster are suffering the consequences. This is unacceptable, but we here are fighting to change that. Thank you so much.